Right, chaps. East Solent marks for the boat angler. Um, it's got a nautical chart here, <coughs> marked up with the um, the fishing locations. <coughs> Excuse me. East number one. Winner, East and West Winner Banks, Langston Harbour entrance. The banks extend south on either side of the entrance. The West Winner produces flatfish, small bream, and shoal bass in summer. The East Winner is more dangerous as it dries out at low tide, but a small and agile boat working in close to the braces suitable weather can connect with bass and chase which chase the bait fish and the surf. Number two, forts, no man's land fort and horse sands fort stand either side of the main channel into the eastern Solent, but can be excellent mackerel and bass marks. If you drift with care around the forts, small pollock can also be taken close to the walls of the forts. Number three, Stokes Bay. Various marks on the drop off as the shallow bay drops down to 80 feet and more into the channel. The tide runs very hard here and we can be troublesome. It is probably better as a winter mark when it is too rough outside. Try to anchor tight to the bottom of the slope. Um, the coordinates for that one are, um, five, just repeating to you, 5046, uh, full stop, 341 North. And then you got 001, 08, full stop, 944 West, or, well, that'll do, there's just another one there. Four, the blocks are what remain of a submarine barrier marked by post bass can be caught along the blocks and place show up in spring on the east side of the blocks. Anywhere can work from 100 metres from shore all the way to the fort and from to the eastern side of the blocks to 500 metres away. Place will feed over patches of mussel which are difficult to locate to try different places. Five, culvert spit. Um, there are a number of marks along the rocky spit that extend from the white cliffs of culvert cliff. Cod show in winter with the usual summer species in the summer months. There is a deep gully south of the bank that holds Fish, try this gully in the spit on the ebb. So it's the coordinates are 5039, full stop, 620 north, 001, 05, full stop, 009W, i.e. west. Six, Bullock's Patch. Bullock's Patch in the middle there. Holds bream from April onwards. Most species appear here at some time throughout the year. Some surprisingly large fish can be caught at times. Um, 5042 full stop 066 Norvings 00054 full stop 919W or West is in the middle of the patch. 7. Deal Tail. Deal Tail. This is the wreck of the coaster called Flag Theothano that sunk carrying a load of concrete. By the time salvage attempt started, the concrete set and uh, because the wreck is so close to the main shipping channel, it is marked by North and South Cardinal boys. It is excellent summer mackerel mark, but mackerel shoal up in different areas from day to day, so you need to have to search around and find them. The wreck itself is teeming with small pollock and pouting. So that's 5043, full stop, 080N, 00059, full stop, 549W. 8. Utopia is a series of gullies that are very good summer tote marks. Fish the bottom of the steep sides of the gully, such as 5037, full stop, 274, N, 0053, full stop, 715, W, or the claw at the north end. 9, the spoils. A bit further out, an area of rough ground and gullies. Look for any fish holding bumps and gullies, and as this is a dumping ground, be sure to trip your anchor at the bottom can be very snaggy. Okay. 10, Boulder Bank, an excellent bream mark from April onwards. Try anywhere along the bank, such as 5041, full stop, 298, Norving, 00049, full stop, 669 West. The tide runs hard over the bank, and floating weed can be a problem. Gullies to the northwest hold early taupe and may be easy to fish if the tide is running hard. 11, southeast of Pula, a number of Banks in the area hold good bass. Some banks closer inshore and further east hold place, but their area also has shallow banks to take care when exploring. 12, the overfalls. 
an area of broken water where the tide runs hard, some excellent ray and bass fishing, go to 5033, full stop, 689 Northing, 00053.868 West, and explore around until you find an obvious bank. There are many. Then drift the bank with live sand ale for bass. Take care. Can be very precise. If you hit fish, mark the spot and drift again. If you don't find fish, move on to another bank. 13, the grounds is an area of comparatively flat and featureless seabed, but good catches of bass, smooth and array can be had on the drift. This area is very sheltered from the prevailing southwesterly winds. 5041, full stop, 950, Norving, 00059, full stop, 766, West. Other areas worth exploring are the hailing shoal rocks, bass and smooth hand in summer, trigger fish in the autumn, rocky banks in Sandown Bay, Rass and Brain, rocky outcrops west of the northern end of, of the hounds for Brain in April and May, the flat grounds a few hundred yards north of Nab Tower, whiting in winter, area immediately east of the Nab Channel, boys, whiting and coal in winter, the edges of Warner Shoal, drift for bass, small smooth hound, Bream and Raya Anchor. And just a few launch areas, launch sites, place at Eastney, Langstone Harbour entrance, west side, approach from Fort Cumberland Road, and turn into Ferry Road at South Sea Marina on the left hand side, turn right at Tarmac Lane immediately before Eastney Cruising Social Compound on the right. Um, Hailing Island. There is a wide concrete ramp accessible at all stages of the tide on the eastern shore of the entrance channel to Langstone Harbour. Accessible from Hailing Island, the ramp is by the Ferry Inn at the very end of Ferry Road. Uh, Canva Dock uh, from the M275. Follow the signs to Canva Dock. Keep going to Canva Dock. Fear right and Broad Street, and you'll finally you have to go right into one way system, then take takes you to the ramp. Um, other launch sites, Warsash, a gently sloping shingle, hard, usable at all states of the tide, near the mouth of the Hamble River on the eastern side. Stokes Bay, there's two ramps, one at the northern end, one in the middle. They can be difficult if there's a non-shore wind and can be often be covered in loose shingle. Chickester Harbour, Itchnor, a gently sloping shingle, hard, usual, all states of the tide, but it's often crowded in summer. And partners limited to a small pain display car park at the other end of the village. Right, so there you go. There's a few marks to try there. Um, and there's a bit of um, boat launching as well. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And um, please subscribe, and I will see you later.